एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज किरण बकोत्रा वेलकम टू इन अवर नेक्स्ट फाइबर इलिंग प्लांट लेक्चर इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द टू फाइबर इलिंग प्लांट ऑफ द कॉटन एंड जूट एंड टूडेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्लैक्स प्लांट यू कैन सी दिस दिस इज अ प्लांट ऑफ दिस फ्लैक्स प्लांट एंड दिस इज अ रॉ मटीरियल ऑफ flax first of all the flax is a scientific name is linum uc tartisum the linum is a genus and the uc tartisum is a species the common name it is known as the flax and linen seed the flax is a already two type of use they are also used for this fiber plant and also used for this seed plant the order is a malpighius then the family belongs to lineaceae the genus is a linum and species is a uc tartisum the next the history of the flax fiber flax was probably the first based fiber to be used to men for market uh, making textile it means the flax is a first Bast fiber means they are the strong woody fiber obtained essentially from the foil phloem of this various plant and they be then used to the main by the making textile industries during the 17th century linen manufacture become established as a domestic industry in many countries of the western europe it means in the 17th century the linen means the clothes woven from this flax they are used as a domestic industrial in the many countries of the western europe and after the 17th century the 18th century with the rise of the cotton the linen industry industry was forced into the background after the 18th century the cotton is the mainly useful for this flax and then the cloth is woven from the flax what are falls into the background the country of the production of the flax fiber it is the canada russia china uk and india the flax fiber comes from the stem of the plant the linum you see tartisum it means the flax fiber it is the obtained from this plant in the part is a stem portion the fiber from the bundles or a strand they are present in the fibrous layer lying beneath the bark of this plant okay, of the fibers they are present in the flax plant in the location of they are the under the bark of this plant in in the inner bark of this plant they are the long slender thick walled cell which are the fiber strength are composite it means the fiber composed in the inner layer of this bar in this the cell have a long slender and thick walled cell they contain the fibers the flax fiber are extracted from the stalk of this flax plant it means the flax are obtained from this stalk and yani stem portion of this plant which may be grown either for its fibrous or its seed they are either formation to the grow by the seed or either fibers for fiber extraction the tall variety with white to light blue flower and height to the 18 to 120 cm are grown and the shorter type of the grow on from the linen seed the it means the two type of variety they are grown the large variety and small variety the shortest variety are grown to the useful of the linen seed oil and the long yani ki tall variety they are useful for this fiber and their height is generally 80 to 120 cm grow the stem are composed of the 70% cellulose in this table below the chemical composition of the flax fiber it is the cellulose the flax is a contain of the cellulose 75% then the hemicellulose pectin aromatic contain of 5% lignin contain of 4% fat and wax contain of 
eggs contain the 4.5% and the water contain the 12.5% then we discuss about the some morphology of flax fiber so the microstructure of the flax it is the flax fiber is a thick regular fiber with the subduced luster it means they are the lighting of this fiber it arrange in the length about the length is generally 10 cm to 100 cm and averaging about the 50 cm in length as the flax fiber is a strand of cell this thickening depending upon the number of these cells they about 3 to 6 cells continuous of fiber cross section it means they are the depending upon the how many thickness of the cell the flex cell are about the 25 mm long and the 10 micrometer to 20 micrometer thick this would be given in the average fiber thickness ranging about the 40 micrometer to 80 micrometer you can see this in this picture the plant is a flag plant in the most of generally the blue and white is color are formation and the stem is a long stem and the stem around the leaf are present production and processing of the flax fiber the flax fiber plant are produce a taller stem it means the taller species they are the formation of the stem is a taller the step which are involved in the production and processing of the flax fiber are the cultivation harvesting rapping ratting in this ratting the four step are included this is the dam ratting dew ratting tank ratting and chemical ratting then after the breaking and skewing and the last one is a hacking so all the step are possess a how many how the production of this flax fiber and after how the raw material are formation so the first is a cultivation process the flax fiber is a generally show in the march to april in has the very short growing period it is about the flax plant they are the generally growing period it is the 100 days they produce the less branches and the longer final fiber when the plants have a flowers and seed at the ripening the crop is a pulled by the root it means that when the flower and seed are mature the plants are don't a cut but they is a pulled it by this root portion after the cultivation the harvesting process it can be done after the 30 days of the flax plant are blooming and growing it means the after the flax plant they are the blooming and growing it means the formation of the flowers and fruiting then after 30 days the plant is the harvested harvesting should be done by the warm and sunny days the pull the plant by the grasping below the root it means they are the don't cut of the plant they are stem portion but the whole plants are pulled by this is below the root portion brush off the diet from the root it means the vast portion of this root they are the rejection then the stalks of the flax plant into the bundle and places the tied bundles in the sunny location to dry it means the stalks of the plant means the flax fiber they are arranged in a peel it means they arrange in this bundle and they are placed into the bundle into sunny location for this dry period harvesting can be done both of these by the manual and mechanical method you can see this this is a picture of this the machinery by the harvesting of this flax plant then the rippling process in this the rippling process it means the removal of the seed and leaves from the stem they are the wooden device and iron device the two are used and this type of this use from this the seed and leaves they are removed from the stem and only the stem are remaining then the ratting process the ratting is the process there is a softness and separate the fibers core of the plant 
from the outer layer which is composed of the woody matters it means the stem on this the outer body portion they are the composed of the many fibers so the writing process it is the separated from the fibers from this plant the writing is carried out by the four ways the dam writing dew writing tank writing and chemical writing then after the writing process the breaking and sketching process so in this breaking and sketching process the flex straw is passed between the fluted roller in a breaking machine so that the woody core is the breaking into fragment without the damaging the fiber running through the stem it means the flex the strew it means they are used in the fibers used in the fodder they are the plas between the soft inner side roller they breaking to into small fragment without the damaging through the stem portion then the hackling process in this they are separate the long lean fibers from the shorter row and the hackles in a bed of pins which are usually to comb the fiber they are drawing an elegant process it means the elegant process means they arrange in a straight line and after the arrange the straight line they are separated from the long fiber and short fibers so they are the process of this in this the cultivation harvested rippling rating breaking and sculling and hackling process they have some properties they are the fiber surface and appearance they are the soft yellowish white color and they are the lustrous appearance it means they are the brightening appearance the tensile it means the capable of the strength the strength is it is the 20% strong than the dry then the elongation it is the 1.8% in the dry condition and the 2.2% in one uh, wet season the elastic properties property it will be turned in the return in the original length and when the tensile tensional it is relaxed they have a specific gravity is the 1.54 the length is generally 30 to 38 cm the moisture regain when they obtain the use again the after the losing it is the moisture is a 12 portion the effect of the height is the highly resistance up to 120 and celsius the effect of sunlight is just the loss of strength the effect of acid it is the effect by the hot dilute and the cold concentrated acid the effect of the alkaline it is the good resistance to alkaline solution then the effect of the insects they are the not attacked by the insects the effect of microorganism in the wet condition they are the attacked by the mild view they are the disease but they are highly resistant on the dry condition it means they are mostly affected in the wet condition effect of solvent is they not adversely affected by the dry cleaning solvent in common method and this chemical property they are difficult to bleach and dry because they are the hard hard harder and rigid than this cotton so there are the some properties they contain the flex fiber then after the uses the then someone uses to the flex fiber they are demanded when the extra strength and the resistance to moisture required if the flex fiber they are the strength is a extra length and they are the moisture resistant so they are the demand in a very clothy and extra the expensive as a compared to cotton due to the production method is the most of the the flex fiber are expensively due to the cottons they are generally used in the silk clothes it means the traveling cloth then the t- making of tan then the shoe trend it means the shoes shoes then the shoeing thread then the hand cricket name it means the pock- pocket clothes the towels table clothes seats and garments the flex fiber is a woven it means the moving cloth is into the fine fabric such as the lawn cambrics hollands cresses and dimas and they also into the canvas drills drugs and lucrans it is used for the linen stitching fishing twins binding twins ropes fishing nets and the other purpose where the strength is the primary requirement and also used for the carpet making house furnishing sales and wrapping of clothes 
the other writer of the linen facturing include the hand knickerbocker means the pocket clothes they are carry on in travels the tables and bed linens dress interlinings the man's suitings towels stands the covers the surgical dressing fire fighting horses and the water holding bags it means the variety spare various pairs they are the uses of the flax and the most probably they use in this the cotton so in this lecture we discuss about the flax the history of the flax when the origin of the flax they are the general introduction and after the some morphology of the fiber then the cultivation and harvesting process in this the step they are the rippling rotting breaking and skewering the hackling process and after this the some properties and uses the know about the flax fiber in the next lecture we discuss about the next flax fiber yielding plant thank you